Hi everybody, Rob from the Stank and Lantern here with Mel over there moving around in the background doing uh, some cleaning up uh, in preparation for opening. I'm filming this on Friday the 9th of April. We are opening next week, so everything's a bit of a mess behind me right now as we get ready to reopen. So in my previous video, which you can watch here or here or however you do that, um, I spoke about soundproofing. Now, it was a little bit more complicated than I expected it to be on top of the complications of actually putting a soundproof scheme together. So on December the 2nd, I sent across an email to the council with the document, everything done as best we could, and hoped that we would hear from them within a couple of weeks, giving the approval, so over the Christmas break, we could get a load of work done and be open up, you know, early on in the next year. That didn't happen. Every week, I dropped another email, following up, chasing up, seeing how things were going and had no reply. It came to a couple of days before Christmas and I tried one more time just to see if there's any news and we could hope to get the approval before Christmas. When I sent that email, I got an out of office reply saying they weren't back until the new year, which was a little bit frustrating and meant we couldn't really do anything over that period. So in the new year, sent another email chasing up asking if there's any news we could get going, if everything had been signed off. Then about a day later, I got a ping on the inbox, an email from the council had arrived. I was hoping, I was really excited, ready to open up this email, hoping it's like, yeah, all approved, ready to go. A little bit trepidatious as well. Opened up this email and it said, sorry, no, you can't send the application through email. You've got to use our special portal and you've got to pay 150 pounds or something as well. Uh, yeah, and on top of that, it takes again another 21 days minimum for them to get this done. I was furious, but it is what it is. I calmed down a bit, I s did the application again, sent it through their correct portal, sent it across, and again had to wait another month for them to reply saying, Yes, it's done finally and then all the work could begin, which kind of partly explains why I didn't actually do any follow-up videos because everything was on hold during that period. So around early mid-February, finally got the reply saying, all good, you're ready to crack on, get the soundproofing done. Any hope to be making it around January time completely disappeared and we were looking at more spring, you know, late March, early April reopening. However, despite the annoyance, it felt like a weight off the shoulders we knew there was nothing in the way to stop us now. All the applications had been done, all the licensing had been done, all the forms and boring admin stuff, and the bureaucratic stuff, all done. It was all up to us now, nothing could get in our way. There was a little bit of talk of COVID or coronavirus uh, going on. It wasn't, it was all being poo-pooed. A lot of people were saying, don't worry about it, it's all okay. Mid-March, early to mid-March, we knew, everybody knew uh, this was a big deal and something's gonna go on. I think originally, this is how people thought, we were gonna be maybe on lockdown for two to three weeks, tops, maybe a couple of months, worst case scenario. As you can see behind me, we did eventually manage to get everything done. It did take, I can't remember how long now. With all the delays going on, we managed to do a delivery service, offer click and collect over the next coming months, just to keep things tied over because, you know, we were still paying rent, there was no relaxation there or anything to get around and we had hardly any money left. We finally got to open at the end of July uh, when the restrictions had eased and that was a bit of a stress, but we managed to pull it off and it was you know, a really rewarding feeling despite not being entirely what I anticipated. Anyway, all this sort of stuff I'll go through in another video. For the time being, I'm gonna do a quick run around showing you how things are right now and uh, yeah, and then sign off from there. Uh, yeah, it looks a little bit different to how it looked in the previous video. Where to begin? Okay, so let's talk about the wood panelling, which is tongue and groove, not lip and groove, not something else, not whatever I was saying. Uh, yeah, tongue and groove. I was really, really happy with how this turned out. This is one thing I was pretty adamant, but like uh, I put it aside a little bit of money, making sure we want to be a micro pub. If I'm going to do this, I want tongue and groove wood panelling across. As you can see, the colour scheme was very much this... Uh, teal color this green it's called bow green but uh some people say it's blue some people say it's green eh whatever i'm colorblind so it doesn't really bother me and also you can see here the gray all the interior design it's beautiful interior design was all done by mel my girlfriend she's absolutely knocked it out of the park 
uh, yeah apologies about the mess and stuff everywhere but you know we've still got a few days before we reopen casks in the way etc oh another thing is uh, i showed you the bar area that was here and what we were actually planning seeing what we could do with it yeah it's all been torn out luckily we we're able to move the bar there we'll get to that in a second um the one bit that survived from that unit was this little shelving unit or whatever we call it um that we stuck here so people could for the time being anyway obviously none of this would be here but they could sit have a drink looking outside it's a really nice view outside and honestly when the sun sets it's uh really beautiful so i was really happy with how that turned out so this survived however it'll be gone by uh i don't know in a couple of weeks or a month of time because we're actually going to get some proper um sort of tool tables we're going to have one tool table here with the benches and one tool table here sort of matching so you can if it's one or two people can sit there have a drink looking out watching the sunset beautifully oh i guess we should also mention we've got a fridge uh this isn't the final resting place for it uh we'll probably when we actually are fully open as a pub again we'll probably have it around here just open up the bar area we were really happy with how the bars turned out again we're matching the same color as the uh, tongue and groove this bow green coming across with this nice oak wood you can, don't know if you can really see it but it is really nice oak wood again there's so much crap everywhere bloody hell and oh i should carry on over here the toilet now this uh yeah compared to how it looked like then and how it looks like now come on i'll give you a quick a quick show this isn't the big before and after reveal but like uh firstly the whole uh, floor area is completely replaced. Nice tiling, beautiful. Uh, I think it's black and green uh, wallpaper here. The toilet, all of it's replaced. Really nice, nice color scheme. It smells lovely as well. We've got a nice little air freshener thing, cacti and things like that. One of the first things we thought about was why we had these steps here that sort of took up, and they sort of let me get it down. You can see it adds a good sort of foot or so uh, height. And our builder tore everything out because it was all disgusting and started digging on the floor to see, just to get underneath it, to see what was going on. Um, turns out that where the pipe is, and there's a stair, you see this little staircase going up to the, to the flats above. Um, but where the out pipe was meant that the toilet needs to be this high. So it would mean this whole if we took this out it you wouldn't be able to really sit at all it'd be ridiculously high so after spending a week or so just digging away at it we had to fill it all back up and uh the next week or two we're going to have some blinds finally how ridiculous is that how long it's taken anyway yes so so pleased with the work mel put into the toilet um massive shout out to her so over here we've got the shelving of all the beers that we're stocking because we've been more of a takeaway uh yeah that's a really good point we've done more we've been acting more as a shop a beer shop than we have as an actual pub during our time of actually being open that's what it is isn't it this huge beautiful mirror and the artwork uh only got put up during lockdown but the previous lockdown in december so nobody's got to really see this yet um i've got some artwork from uh pig's ears uh beautiful brewery focused artwork so we've got one there burnt mill we've got one there for buxton brewery and we've got this one i really like for northern uh or the Monk Brewery over there, which is gorgeous. The actual artwork itself, which you might have seen, is like sort of the pub, your, your sort of typical pub artwork, um, pub sign artwork. That was actually designed by a friend of mine called Jamie. Um, he's a professional artist uh, and he did an incredible job. We sort of doing this back and forth, uh, going through sort of ideas. And the, uh, the name, the Sag and Lantern, I really liked how evocative it was. And there's this element that's like, okay, you could sort of build this sort of almost mystical like, mystical image. But uh, when he came up with a few mock-ups of what it would be going for, he had the lantern in the uh, in the jaw of, of the deer, of the stag. And I was like, that's a really cool idea. It sort of adds to this sort of fable-like uh, imagery. So I really love the artwork. Um, I'm sure I'll be showing pictures of that right now on the screen, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. So that was a, a little tour here. Again, this isn't a glamorous video by any means, but uh, hopefully it does its job. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to try and do maybe a video every week. I don't know what I'll talk about. I've got some ideas. I'll just try and keep this going. I still feel bad that my last video I shot 
in November 2019 and I didn't actually film anything else. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy this sort of thing, give this video a like, give the channel a subscribe, share it, comment below. I'll always reply to any comments I've got going on. And even more importantly, come down and have a drink. That'd be great. Uh, cheers. See you later. The sign out the front. Let's just quickly show you what it looks like and I can talk about that as well. One second. Punch the car in the way. So there it is. Again, matching bow green with a lovely gold copper uh, lettering done there. Oh, it just really sets off. And also with the lights on there, it comes out really well. And also you had to repaint all of this. It needs a bit of clean up, but yeah, very different.